Hello, in this video we will discuss about the financial plan. What is a financial plan? A personal financial plan involves specifying financial goals including the spending, financing and investing plans needed to reach your goals. The plan should spell out how to accumulate wealth and provide for emergencies. Uh, dream big, set goal and take action. Your goals are what uh, drive your financial plan. And having clear goals is important in making a plan that works for you. So what is a financial plan? A good financial plan includes seven key components budget managing liquidity that is your cash financing large purchases managing risk investing planning for retirement and communication and record keeping so this is the chart for wealth part one is budgeting and taxes uh, a person should start with always uh, always start should with budgeting and taxes then he should be starting uh, his personal finance with liquidity management then the part three is personal financing part four is protecting your assets and income part five is uh, personal investing part six is retirement and estate planning part seven is communication and report keeping Component 1. A plan for your budgeting. A plan for your budgeting starts with a budget helps you plan your spending and saving so you can meet your needs and wants. Creating a budget involves uh, several steps. First one is determining your net worth, establishing your income and identifying your expenses. In net, what is net worth? So, determining your net worth. Net worth includes uh, net worth includes assets and liabilities. Assets are anything that we own, such as cars or baseball cards. Liabilities are what we owe or our debt. So, net worth equals to assets minus liabilities. Equity means ownership. So calculating net worth. So asset is a uh, let's say one person has a car, then the asset is equals to car worth that is five thousand uh, dollars. Liability is a uh, amount over on the car. So that let's say uh, two thousand dollars is remaining on the loan amount of the car. So net worth equals to car value minus amount owed that is 3000 so 5000 minus uh, 2000 equals to 3000 dollars the equity equity would also be 3000 dollars as you save money you will accumulate more assets including cash you will also have the chance to reduce your liabilities and both of these will lead to increasing your net worth So here we can see a, a car. Uh, a car is an asset. Is an asset which is worth of five thousand dollars. But the bank owns two thousand dollars on this car, so that is a liability. So the net worth will equals to five thousand minus two thousand equals to three thousand dollars. What is your net worth? Step two: establishing your income, that is cash inflow. So having an income is a, the major means by which a person saves money, builds wealth, acquires asset, and fulfills wants and needs. Your income often depends on decisions you uh, you make about education and career choices. So in general, more education or specialized training translates into more income. Uh, math for personal finance. 
so let's say a person makes nine dollar an hour and works about 15 hours a week he also gets uh, a 25 dollar per week allowance so what is his total annual income so first we will multiply his per hour uh, income that is nine dollar into the number of hours he is working per week that is 15 so 9 into 15 that is 135 dollar per week and 135 dollar per week multiplied by 52 weeks per year so that equals to 7000 per year income from his job uh, 25 dollar per week of allowance multiplied by 52 weeks per year that equals to 1300 dollar per year income from his allowance so his total annual income is equals to 7020 dollar plus 1300 dollars that is equals to 8320 dollars taxes so on average 23 percent of your paycheck is taken out for taxes and social security etc the more you make the more they take so what will be your monthly income after taxes step 3 identifying your expenses that is cash outflow when creating a budget estimate how much money you are, have going out every month fixes and variable expenses uh, typical expenses include food clothing gas utilities entertainment so here's a chart of uh, the expenditure of a person so average annual expenditure can vary significantly depending on your stage of life shares of average uh, annual expenditures spend on major components for selected ages this data is of 2010 2010 so here we have items and uh, the expenditure made by uh, made by the population which is under 25 years and the second data is of 65 years and older so for food a person uh, who is less than 25 years old spends around 14.8 dollars on food and for persons for aged persons they spend 12.4 dollars for food for housing younger generation spends around 34.8 dollars and uh, older generation spends around 35.4 dollars for apparel and services younger generation spends around 5.7 dollars and for aged population they spend around 2.6 dollars for transportation younger generation spends around 17.1 dollars and for aged population they spend around 14.2 dollars for healthcare younger generation spends around 2.8 dollars which is very less but uh, the aged population spends very high uh, it is 13.2 dollars for entertainment younger generation spends around 4.4 dollars and the aged population spends around 5.1 dollars cash contribution a uh, younger generation spends around 1.1 dollar and Egypt generation spends around 6.2 dollars for personal insurance and pensions they spend around 7.4 dollar and younger generation so the aging population spends around 5.1 dollars and all other money expenses uh, younger generation spends around 11.9 dollar and uh, the aged population spends around 5.8 dollars so this is a sample monthly household budget which a person can fill so here we have uh, expenses then the budgeted then the allocated budget that we made then what we actually spend on in real time and and this is the this is for difference so for housing category we have mortgage or rent property taxes insurance and other expenses for utilities we have electricity gas sewer water 
home phone bill, cell phone bill, internet bill, cable, and for debt payments category, we have car loan, student loan, and credit cards. So life happens and anything, anything can happen at any time. So complete February, consider the following. Your friend desperately needs some good cash and convinces you to lend him $100. Uh, complete March, considering the following. You wreck your car and you have to pay $1,000 deductible. Complete appeal considering the following. A close friend or relative has decided uh, to have a last minute destination vending to Ireland. You are elected best man and maid of honor. Trip actually cost $4,000, $100 for the gift and $200 for the dress or suit. For complete May, consider the following. You have lost your job. You pick up uh, part-time work at Home Depot. Life-changing event. The O'Donnell budget process. Tell your money where you want it to go rather than having the money tell you what you can do. So let's say we have a case from a paycheck that is worth $1200. So that is a week earning. So for, for so from that $1200 we will take our we will take out $400 for mortgage. $25 for gas and for electrical expenses we will take out $75 for vehicle we will take about $100 for groceries we have $150 for savings we will take up uh, we will take out $75 for miscellaneous expenses we will take out $25 for medical again we have $90 for gifts we have $25 for Donations we have $25. For taxes we have $125. For education $75 and for vacation $10. So the sum of our expenses is equals to $1200, which is our uh, earning from which is our weekly earning from a job. So we have two charts here. First one is first pay of 12 September and second one is of 26 September. So this is two weeks apart. So first after two weeks uh, we have the following expenses and in the second week we have the following expenses. So in first week we have our Arizona zone expense that is of 154.51 dollars so which is our monthly bill for penny lake we have 76 dollars for insurance we have 167.24 dollars for garbage 22 for aes uh, 265.24 for furniture bill we have 50 dollars for bank of bank of Amer america with uh, 26 dollars for gas $90, for grocery $250, for AES $240.87, for visa $60, for van $337.6, for TWC $41.3, for other $202.77, for MR school Sixty-seven point five dollars for Discover one ninety-one dollars. These are some uh, other expenses. So medical, we have fifteen dollars. For recreation, we have fifteen point five dollars. Then the next one is clothing, that is thirty dollars. For gifts, we have twenty dollars. For households, twenty dollars. For haircut $15, for saving $50, for party $37.27 and the total is $202.77. For second week we have mortgage of around $457, direct TV connection is $70.9, energy is $26.61. 
direct loan amount is fifty dollars gas amount is hundred dollars grocery is two fifty dollars so other expenses are sixty seven point eight seven dollars for emma school we have 150 dollars for before school 56.25 that is for care and nationwide it is 13.33 dollars and and in other expenses we have five dollars for medical medical expenses 32.87 for depression expenses 10 dollars for give and 20 dollars for household expenses other subtotal is 67.87 dollars so we all we have another chart for that is two weeks apart so first pay is 24.82.2482.23 dollars and second pay is of 2481.7 dollars so in first week we have in first two weeks we have expense of very zone that is 157.25 dollars we have Panel expense of seventy seven point six four dollars for insurance we have one ninety nine point seven three dollars uh, for garbage we take out twenty seven dollars for steel we have two forty point eighty seven dollars for Bank of America we have twenty dollars for gas bill we will take out one twenty five dollars for grocery we will take out three hundred for discover we take out three hundred dollars for visa $28, for van $337.6, for TWC $70.89, for other expenses we will take out $500, and for saving we will take out $98. In other expenses we will take out $123, for household $60, for clothing $35, for gift $70, for medicals $25, for haircut $30, uh, for postage $10, for car care $20, for allowance $12, for Christmas $100, for book fair $15, and for other total other subtotal expenses $500. Uh, in the second two weeks, the mortgage bill is eleven fifty six point seventy six dollars. Direct TV connection is hundred point six one. NFZ is forty five point eighteen. Direct loan is fifty. Gas is one twenty five. Cost fee is three fifty. Other expenses four forty two. YMC is seventy one point five one. Dance is forty. Parental loan is hundred dollars. Recreation purpose we will take out $175 for household expense we take out $52 for clothing $45 gift $25 haircut $10 postage $10 for school water $10 Christmas $115 other subtotal $442 and the withdrawal amount is $832 how many of you had extra gas after completing your budget and what did you do with it component two a plan for managing your liquidity so we have this wealth chart again that shows the part one is budgeting and taxes uh, liquidify management part two Personal financing part three, protecting protecting your assets and income part four, personal investing part five, retirement and estate planning part six, communication and report keeping part seven. Component two is a plan for managing your liquidity. So liquidity assets include cash and assets that can be quickly and easily turned into cash. You may have a number of valuable assets, but if they are not liquid, they will be of little use to you when facing a short-term financial need. How many of you did not have enough liquidity for the friend's wedding? Uh, component 2. A plan for managing your liquidity. 
money management involves making decisions about how much cash or liquid assets to keep in reserve and how much to invest in less liquid assets such as real estate, buildings and land. Helps determine how much money to keep liquid to avoid cash shortfalls. Then we have credit management. So credit, credit management involves making decisions about getting credit and using credit. Credit is commonly used to cover immediate cash shortfalls, so it increases liquidity. Credit. Uh, credit cards. Some lenders charge higher interest, that is rent, on money than others. So it is not wise to rely on credit cards if you are not able to pay back the borrowed money quickly. A financial plan should contain a credit management plan. There are three types of credit. So first one is non-installment, second one is installment, third one is revolving credit. So first one is non-installment. So it is a quick cash scheme type of thing. So, so it is a short term loan that spans from 30 days to 90 days or a year term loan. So no interest charged if we if paid within the time period. Large interest if not paid in full or late payment received. Don't get duped into paying interest upfront. Items usually uh, a few hundred dollars. So what is installment credit? So installment credit is a credit on a specific purchase such as furniture, board, or etc. Repayment can be stressed over years and interest is charged to the principal. Principal is the amount you owe to own the item. Note that the cost of the item is more due to the interest. So let's say three and there is a three thousand dollar couch which is of twelve dollar interest. So for if we if a person takes out a loan for twelve months, so there will be twelve payments of two hundred sixty six dollar point fifty five cents. So that equals to three thousand one hundred ninety eight point sixty dollars, which is one ninety eight point sixty dollar more than more than the principal amount. So if a person takes out the loan for uh, two years, so then there will be 24 payments of $141.22. So the final amount that a person will pay back is $3,389.29. Cents. Uh, so uh, $389.29 is more from the principal amount. So if the person takes out loan for uh, three years, that is 36 months, so then the payments will be 36 and each payment will be for $99.64. <clears throat> the final amount that a person will pay back is $3,587.04, which is 587.04 more than the principal amount. Revolving credit. So revolving credit means credit cards. So there is a credit credit limit for uh, credit limit uh, is actually the amount available to borrow can be of thousands. You can use it for post point of sale purchases. A person can repay all at once or spread out over time. So a person must always repay it all at once. We study for a quiz. So quiz is why is it, it is important to create and stick to a budget. What is liquidity? Describe the envelope system for budgeting. List and define the three forms of credit discussed in class. What are the potential risk of same as?
gas over from merchant. So let's suppose there is a credit card of uh, Discover and the bill is of $4,000 on that particular credit card. The interest rate is 21% interest rate and the bill is actually of 100 a month bill. So a person only has to pay $100 a month. So it will take 70 months to repay back the whole bill and it would cost $2,940 in interest alone. So there is also pros of using credit card. First one is you can purchase large ticket items faster. It eliminates the need to carry cash. It helps you to establish a good credit history. This will also increase your chances for obtaining credit in the future. It will decrease interest rates offered to you from lenders. Uh, these are the dangers of using credit card. So first one is it's easier to get credit than it is to pay it back. Uh, mismanagement is also there so it can lead to a bad credit history. Credit cards uh, tempt us to purchase items today that we could pay less for if we just saved and paid cash. So interest rate on credit card is very high. It is between uh, 16 to 24 percent. So that that breaks down to 1.5 percent uh, a month to 2 percent a month. It can also take years to pay off small balances with high interest rate. Um, there is also a term in the uh, credit card topic that is or pay the minimum building your credit score so it is called credit history so credit bureaus keep track of your credit credit history and make that information available for lenders so there are few uh, great credit bureaus in the america that keeps this uh, data first one is experian then Equifax, then there is TransUnion. So there is a term called FICO score. It starts from 300 and it, the top score is 850. So people with the score uh, above uh, 700 seems to be uh, good for lending money. So what makes up uh, a typical credit score? So types of credit in use uh, contributes 10%, request for a new credit contributes 10%, length of credit history contributes 15%, current total debt 30% and payment history equals to 35%. How to establish credit? Bank accounts, uh, employment history, residence history, utilities in borrower's name, department store or gas credit card how to maintain a good credit rating so first step is to establish a good credit history a monthly balances on time use credit cards sparingly and stay within the limit uh, do not move balance to other cards check credit reports regularly let's explore fico report the cost of using credit card so there's a scenario let's suppose the interest rate is 17 dollar or 17 percent and the minimum payment a person has to pay is 2.5 percent or 10 dollars so let's say there is a balance of a thousand dollar on a person's credit card and the time to pay off is 12 years so the interest charge alone is $979 and the total amount that he has to pay after 12 years is $1979. So in, in case of $2500 balance, uh, the time to pay off is 19 years. The interest charge is uh, $2,941. The total payment that he has to pay back is $5,441. And in the case of a 
thousand dollar balance. The time to pay off is twenty four plus years. The interest charge is six thousand two hundred ten dollars. The total payment that he has to pay back is eleven thousand two hundred ten dollars. The cost of using credit. So in case of a twenty four percent interest rate. And the minimum payment is four percent of four percent of current balance of ten dollars. Let's say the balance is two thousand dollars, and the time to pay off is nine years uh, and nine months. The interest charge alone is seventeen hundred seventy four point ninety six dollars. The total payment that he has to pay back is three thousand seven hundred seventy-seven, three thousand seven hundred seventy-four point ninety-six dollars. And in the case of uh, of a balance amount uh, is six thousand, then the time to pay off is fourteen years and four months. The interest charge uh, charged alone on that payment is five thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars point eight cents. The total payment he has to pay back is eleven thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars point eight cents, and then in the case of a ten thousand dollar balance, the time to pay back is sixteen years and five months. The interest charge alone in that amount is nine thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars point eighty-nine cents, and the total payment is. Nineteen thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollar point eighty-nine cents. Warning signs of uh, credit abuse. So these are the warning signs of credit abuse. First one is delinquent payments, uh, default notices, repossession, collection agencies, uh, judgment line, garnishment. so there is also a fun fact about these credit scores so it is that sign your name any way you want on credit card terminals because no one notices or cares so there are also some questions when a person uh, what a person should ask uh, when he is applying for credit for uh, credit card first one is what is the annual fee second one is what is the annual percentage rate that is apr what are payments due when are payments due what is the minimum payment required each month is there a grace period or are there other fees associated with the credit card such as minimum finance charges what is the credit limit what are the penalties for late or missed payments what are the terms and conditions of the credit what else is included in the final credit so this is a sample application for a target credit account application so now you can also uh, research about what is the best credit card for your use it is american express visa mastercard or other this is the next chapter of personal finance so the money plan respond in your notebook so the first question is i am a high school student i do not have uh, money for investment or buying property so what's so what difference does it make how i spend my money now you will not always be a student uh, learning to save and use money wisely now will help you know how to achieve financial security in the future while you are in high school financial planning can help you decide how to spend save and invest your money for special purposes or activities that matter to you you may even be able to buy stock personal finance decisions personal finance is, uh, is everything in your life that involves money some of the benefits of personal finance personal financial planning are you have more money and financial security you know how to use money to achieve your goals you have less chance of getting uh, going into debt you cannot handle 
you can help your partner and support your children if you have a family so there are six steps of uh, financial planning the financial planning process has six steps to help you reach your goals first step is uh, determine your current financial situation to figure out your uh, current financial situation make a list of items that relate to your finances such as savings monthly income that is job earning allowance give and interest on bank accounts monthly expenses that is money you spend debts money you owe to others when you have to determine your financial situation you will be able to start planning second step is develop your financial goals to develop clear financial goals think about your attitude towards money and ask yourself some questions uh, is it more important to spend your money now or save for the future would you rather get a job right after high school or continue your education do your personal values affect your personal finance decisions do you know the difference between your needs and your wants step 3 of ident- uh, of financial planning is identify your options uh, it is impossible to make a good decision unless you know your all your options if you are saving 50 dollar a month for example you might have these options expand the current finance uh, expand the current situation by increasing the amount of money you save every month to 60 dollar change the current situation by investing in stocks instead of putting your money into a savings account start something new by using the 50 dollar to pay off your your debt continue the same course of action elevate your alternatives uh, you must consider the consequences and risk of each decision you make during the financial planning process you can do this by using the many available sources of, of financial information to keep keep you up to date with social and economical and economic conditions that can affect your uh, financial situation understanding the opportunity cost of your decisions understanding risk when you make a financial decision you also accept certain financial risks some type of financial risk include inflation risk interest rate risk income risk personal risk liquidity risk Uh, create and use your uh, financial plan of action a plan of action is a list of ways to achieve your uh, financial goals some examples of plans of actions include cutting back on spending to increase your savings getting a part time job or working more hours at your present job to increase your income <coughs> step 6 is 6 uh, is to revise and review and revise your plan as you get older your finances and needs will change that means that your financial plan will have to change too you should reevaluate and revise it every year the importance of financial planning our next topic is developing personal financial goals types of financial goals are uh, there are two factors that will influence your uh, planning for financial goals these factors are the time frame in which you would like to achieve your goals the type of financial need that inspire your goals time frame of goals uh, goals can be defined by the time it takes to achieve them uh, we can categorize them in three portions first one is short term goals second one is intermediate goals third one is long term goals so short term goals take one year or less to achieve such as saving to buy a computer second one is intermediate goals uh, it takes 2 to 5 years to achieve such as saving for a down payment on a house third one is long term goals uh, it takes more than 5 years to achieve such as planning for retirement so we should start with short term goals that may lead to long term ones there are also goals for uh, short term uh, there are also goals for different needs so services and goods are two different categories of, of financial needs a haircut is an example of a service 
while a new car is a good how you establish and reach your uh, financial goals will depend on whether a goal involves the need for consumable goods such as soda or durable goods such as car intangible items such as an education guidelines for setting goals when setting your financial goals follow these guidelines your uh, financial goals should be realistic your financial goals should be specific your financial goals should have a clear time frame uh, your financial goals should help you decide what uh, type of action to take your uh, financial goals will change as you go through life so what are the factors that influences uh, on personal finance planning so many factors will influence your day to day decisions about finances the three most important factors are life situations personal values and economic factors there are also some life situations and personal values so your uh, financial planning will definitely be affected by changes in your life situation such as going to college start a new career uh, getting married having children moving to a new city and your personal values also influence your financial decisions uh, economic factors suppose the country and around the world play a role in day to day financial planning and decision making for most people to understand economics and the economy you may you need to be aware of market forces financial institutions global influences economic conditions the forces of supply and demand determine the prices of product or goods and services you purchase when there is a high demand for an item or when a company cannot manufacture enough of a certain product to keep up with the demand the price of the product rises of financial institutions so most people do business with financial institutions which include banks credit unions uh, savings and loan associations insurance companies investment companies financial institutions provide services that increase financial activity in the economy uh, the federal reserve system so the federal reserve system's primary role in the us economy is to is the regulation of the money supply the fed controls the money supply by determining interest rate buying or selling government securities its uh, decisions affect and the interest rate you earn on your savings so the interest rate you pay when you borrow money the prices of the products you buy Uh, there are also some global influences uh, so you and the money you spend you and the money you spend are part of the global marketplace which is another economic factor that can affect financial planning the economy of every nation is affected by competition with other nations when more money is leaving the us uh, then entering it for example less money is available for spending uh, uh, less money is available for spending and investing and interest rate may arise uh, these global influences also affect personal finance decisions economic conditions so current economic uh, conditions also affect your personal financial decisions the three important economic conditions are first one is consumer prices second one is consumer spending third one is interest rate so uh, let's discuss about consumer prices first over time the prices of most product inflate the main cause of inflation is an increase in demand without an increase in supply 
For example, prices will rise if people have more money to spend because of pay increases or borrowing. The same amounts of goods and services are available. And the inflation rate affects consumer prices and uh, varies from year to year. <coughs> Uh, interest rate so the interest rate represents the cost of money and are also influenced by supply and demand so interest rate will affect your uh, financial planning as you save invest and obtain loans so interest rates are just one for, for facet of the economic factor that influence your personal financial planning so here we can see when uh, so when does the interest rate hike so when there is lower economic growth and inflation is slower so the interest rate will hike and when there is for higher economic growth then the interest rate will cut and the inflation will be higher so this is the activity that uh, you can do uh, to know more about the supply and demand so to help you get better to help you get a better understanding of how money and supply demand influences consumerism you will read a variety of current events articles you have been handed a set of articles section a or section b using the articles read through them critically and complete the graphic organizer organizer you will need to be able to identify the market cause of change in supply and demand demand uh, so did, did it increase or decrease or stay the same about supply did it increase decrease or stay the same about solution so how could you fix the supply or demand issue So there is one more activity which is jigsaw supply and demand activity. So you have to find three other people who had a different article from you and have them explain to you how their article dealt with supply and demand. For each article you need to identify the following things that is market, what is being supply and demanded, how are the supply demand issues being dealt with. Is there a better way to handle the supply and demand issues? If so, then explain. Then this is the homework that you can also do. So you have to read the chapter 1.2 that is opportunity cost and financial strategies. Is vocabulary chapter 1.2 that is time value of money, principal, future value, entity, present value, and vocabulary quiz also so this is the chapter 1.2 uh, which is opportunity cost and financial strategies uh, personal and financial opportunity cost whenever uh, you make a choice you have to give up or trade off some of your other options are when making your uh, financial decisions and plans, you will need to carefully consider personal finance, uh, personal opportunity cost, personal uh, financial opportunity cost. So, personal opportunity cost is uh, like financial resources. Your personal resources uh, require management. These resources include health knowledge skills and time you have to decide how to use your time to meet your needs to achieve your goals and to satisfy your values financial opportunity cost you also must make choices about how you spend money to help you make choices consider the time value of money every time you spend save and invest so you also have to think about the time value of this money as an opportunity cost.
so this is the opportunity cost cartoon activity so your job is to design a cartoon that clearly illustrates your understanding of the concept opportunity cost cartoon may be done in the style of a comic strip several slides or in the style of a political cartoon which is a one large picture so the project should include the following uh, which is a large clear and colorful title a clear depiction of an opportunity post through pictures and uh, dialogue color it should be colorful and creative visual it should be neat and organized uh, demonstrate understanding of the topic uh, a short explanation of your cartoon on bag in paragraph form 10 points Uh, examples of opportunity cost and cartoon so let's suppose you study late night for your final then the next day you are very sleepy so your opportunity cost is a good night sleep and these are other uh, examples also so whenever you are visiting a clinic so you have multiple options let's say a doctor A or doctor B and there is one more opportunity cost so let's say uh, when you are going uh, when you are planning something so you have two options but if you choose one option then you may do well and if you choose the wrong option then you may lose some money or you may struggle financially and one more example is here of opportunity cost where one side is showing benefit and the other side is showing loss so if you study then you will get good grades uh, but if you if you waste your uh, time by watching tv or playing video games then you will score very poor there are some very popular quotes then uh, that you should consider first one is most people don't plan to fail they simply fail to plan and the second quote is if you don't know where you are going any road will take you there personal or financial planning process so first process of a financial planning is set goals you should set goals then the next option is analyze information then the third step is create a plan according to the information fourth step is you should implement the plan and fifth option is monitor and modify the plan so the first step is you have to set goals you also need to distinguish between needs and wants so needs are the essentials the basics of life which is food clothing and shelter and wants are simply increase uh, wants are simply the things which may increase uh, the quality of your living let's suppose you are buying a uh, house in a good neighborhood you want you are doing some personal care you want to drive a nice car or you want to have some latest technology or gadget so we have one assignment here my needs and wants uh, can i tell the difference so the beliefs and uh, practices in your life that are very important to you first one is family then friends then teachers church and work so we should also have some smart uh, smart goals smart means uh, specific uh, m m is for measurable a is for attainable r is for realistic and t is for time bound so the smart goal timelines are also here so we can see uh, for short term goals uh, the tenure is up to 3 months for intermediate uh, term the duration is 3 months to 1 year long term is for till uh, longer than 1 year and we should also also have some delayed gratification uh, next one is cash flow uh, a measure of the money a measure of money you receive a measure of the money you receive and the money you spend 
it is called cash flow now you now you have some questions to answer so what are the five steps in the personal financial process how do you set smart goals how do you how do your sources affect money and how can the and how can money help you live a satisfying life next topic is uh, why personal financing so it is easier to spend than to save uh, helps achieve financial goals allows you to control your finances and here is what you can accomplish using this so you can manage the unplanned accumulate wealth for special expenses save for retirement cover your assets invest intelligently uh, minimize uh, tax payments the personal financial planning process so there are five steps to personal finance planning first one is evaluate your financial health or define your financial goals develop a plan of action implement your plan review your progress evaluate and revise your plan a personal financial planning process step one is evaluate your financial health examine your current financial situation keep accurate records step two is define your financial goals uh, it can be in short term goals intermediate term goals long term goals and goals change over time step 3 is develop a plan of action flexibility protection liquidity and minimizing taxes step 4 is implement your plan you should have to stick to it your financial plan is the tool used to achieve goals keep goals in mind and work towards them step 5 is review your progress reevaluate and revise your plan uh, review progress and be prepared to formulate a different plan. No plan is fixed. Establishing, establishing your financial goals. Financial goals cover three time horizons. Short term, which is uh, within one year. Intermediate term, which is one to ten years. And long term, which is more than ten years. So short term goals uh, include accumulate emergency funds equaling three months of living expenses, pay off bills and credit cards purchase insurance purchase a major item finance a vacation or uh, entertainment item intermediate term goals save for oldest child's college save for a down payment or a major home improvement uh, pay off major debt finance uh, large items uh, or weddings purchase a vacation home Longer uh, term uh, long term goals include save for younger child's uh, child's college, uh, purchase retirement home, create a retirement fund to maintain current standard of living, uh, take care of elderly family members, start a business. Then we have stage one, which is the early years, a time of wealth accumulation. So prior to age fifty four, you should have to purchase a home, prepare for child rearing goals and save for a child's education uh, you should also develop a regular uh, pattern of saving start retirement savings and establish an emergency fund step two is approaching retirement the golden years transition between uh, it is the transition years between 55 to 64 retirement goals are very important continuously review your financial decisions insurance protection and estate planning Unplanned events have dramatic effects on your goals. Stage 3 is the retirement years. So after the age of 65, you have to leave off your savings. Uh, retirement age depends on savings. It should be less risky investment strategy, preserving rather than creating wealth. Uh, review insurance. Consider uh, extended nursing home protection, estate planning decisions are critical, uh, dream estate tax bills, have wills, living wills and health proxies.
thinking about your career so you have to choose a major and a career getting a job making it a successful career you will work for at least uh, at least three different companies have over 10 different jobs uh, job security is a thing of the past being successful in your career have a marketable skill be well educated and keep up with technology do good work project the right image uh, understand and work within the power structure gain visibility take new assignments acquire new skills develop a strong network be ethical work determines your income so specialized skills receive higher pay education is key determinant of salary so advanced degree earns around 72,824 dollars a year Bachelor degree earns around $51,194 a year. High school graduate earns $27,280 a year, which is minimum wage. And non graduates earn $18,826 a year. 15 principles of personal finance. They form the fountain of personal finance. They will provide you with an excellent grasp of your own personal finance a better chance of attaining wealth and achieving financial goals so principle one is the risk return trade-off savings allow for more for future purchases borrowers pay for using your savings investors demand a minimum return to delay consumption above anticipated inflation and investors demand higher return for added risk Principle uh, 2 is the time value of money. Money has a uh, time value. Money received today is worth more than money received in the future. Compound interest is interest paid on. Uh, it is interest paid on interest. Uh, principle 3 is diversification reduces risk. Don't pull all your don't pull all your eggs in one basket to diversify place money in several investment not just one diversification reduces risk without affecting expected return wouldn't experience great returns or great losses receive an average return all risk is not equal so some risk cannot be diversified away if stocks move in opposite directions combining them can eliminate Variability. If stocks move in same direction, not all variability can be diversified away. Principle 5 is the curse of competitive investment markets. In efficient markets, information is instantly reflected in prices. It cannot earn higher than the expected profits from public information, difficulty to beat the market, bargains don't remain so for very long. Uh, principle 6 taxes affect personal finance decisions so taxes also influence the realized return of investments maximize after tax return and compare investments alternatives on and after tax basis principle 7 is stuff happens or the importance of liquidity have funds available for the unexpected without liquid funds long-term investments must be liquidated Reduce results in lower price, tax consequences, or missed opportunities. With nothing, with nothing to sell, pay higher interest to borrow money quickly. Principle eight: Nothing happens without a plan. So people spend money without think, thinking, but you can't save without thinking about it. Saving must be planned. Start off with a modest, uncomplicated plan. Later, modify and expand your coin. Remember, uh, remember, financial plans cannot be postponed. Principle 9 is the best protection is knowledge. 
so take responsibility for your uh, financial affairs protect yourself from in, uh, competent advisors take advantage of chan changes in the economy and interest rates understand personal finance then apply it principle 10 is protect yourself against major uh, catastrophes have the right insurance before a tragedy occurs know your policy coverage insurance focus should be on major uh, catastrophes which can be financially devastating principle 11 the time dimension of investing so take more risk on long term investments large company stock price is up 10.4% annually over the past 70 years Uh, 20 year olds investing retirement money will likely earn more in the stock market than other investment alternatives principle 12 the agency problem beware of the sales pitch the agency problem those who act as your own uh, those who act as your agent may actually act in their own interest insurance sales people financial advisor and stock brokers receive commissions so select them carefully Find an advisor who fits your needs, is ethical and effective. Principle 13. Pay yourself first. For most people, savings are residual. Spend what you like. Save what is left and pay yourself first so, the, so what you spend becomes the residual. Reinforce the importance of long-term goals and soaring goals get funded. Principle 14. Money is not everything. Extend financial plans to achieve future goals. See more than just dollars. Know what is important in life. Money doesn't bring happiness, but facing expenses without the funding brings on anxiety. Principle 15. Just do it. So making the commitment to get started is difficult, but the following steps will be easier. Uh, one of your investment allies is time and time is stronger now than it will ever be so take investment action now just do it thank you